Hey Remote Pilots, Jason Shepard here. In this video, it's all about firmware updates. What is happening, M0A Nation, Remote Pilot 101, Jason Shepard here. So good to see you all again. Hey, in this video, we're gonna talk about firmware updates. I know, not always a fun topic, they take forever. And well, we're gonna share how to make them not take forever and get through them correctly the first time in this video. And I asked the one and only Coach Ray uh, to come back to share a little bit about this. Coach Ray is the one who makes all the magic on these videos, a very accomplished remote pilot and man pilot in his own right. So I wanna pass it off to Coach Ray and I wanna come back to you here at the very end. For the most optimal and safe flight of your drone, having that latest and greatest firmware update for your drone is important for the safety of each flight. For not only you, the remote pilot, but all those individuals working around you and involved in the project. Now besides your drone, you're going to need these items ready to go. You're going to need a smartphone, a tablet, a computer, USB cables to connect your device to your drone for the upgrade. Now typically this is done on a smartphone, but make sure to read and follow the guidelines and instructions set by the manufacturer. Make sure your drone, smartphone, and other devices are fully charged as the firmware upgrade process, well, it can be a bit lengthy and take up to at least an hour to complete in some instances based on file size. Now as a rule of thumb, having at least 30% of the battery life across all devices, it should be efficient enough, but be safe, I always like to do the updates on a full battery. Now, during any firmware upgrade to any drone, I recommend keeping the blades off of the drone to prevent possible injury from the drone motors just accidentally turning on. You definitely don't want that to happen. Now, no matter what drone you're using, make sure you have the latest app and that app is updated before you start the upgrade process. Now, in the case of the DJI drones, you'll need the DJI Fly app and the DJI Assistant 2 if you're using a computer to do the upgrade. Now, once your drone is powered on and you launch the software, you will get a notification typically if the drone is in compliance or what firmware upgrade actions you need to take. Now, if an update is needed, you simply follow the prompts and instructions for the upgrade. Again, if you have any issues, reach out to the manufacturer for tech support. Now, you'll also see a notification for what type of firmware upgrades are going to be installed. Now, if you want to know a little bit more about these updates specifically, which I think is always a great idea to know what's getting installed on your drone, you can look on the manufacturer website for that information, but typically you'll see it during the upgrade process. Now you want to make sure your drone goes through the entire upgrade process before unplugging your devices. Powering the drone on and off again may be required to complete the update. Now once you've confirmed the upgrade has taken place and everything checks out, I personally like to do a test flight. This is similar to having an airplane come out of an annual inspection. When that happens, I like to stay close to the airport, preferably in the traffic pattern, in case I have any issues, I can get back safe pretty quickly. Now, this holds true for drones as well. I like to keep those first few flights close to me and at lower altitudes in case I have any issues. So whether you're a recreational drone pilot or a commercial drone pilot, we should always be pursuing mastery in all aspects. Not just with flying our drones, but our pre-flight updates, maintenance, and just how we perform those flights. This helps us fly in a safe, smart manner, and we can enjoy our drones and our aviation experience that much more. So one thing I want to mention too, and by the way, great job, Coach Ray, golf clap. One thing I want to mention, firmware updates from all my years of teaching Part 107 since 2016 now, and Part 107 first came out, firmware updates can be regulatory in nature because it's your responsibility as the remote pilot in command to make sure your drone, your aircraft, is ready to go. It's a part of your pre-flight inspection, making sure that firmware is up to date. I know it's a pain when you're out at the chute and you're trying to get this done. This is why you start your pre-flight the night before. Don't forget, the controller sometimes needs updates. 
The, the drone itself needs updates. The app itself needs updates. There's so many little things to update here. I need you to be mindful and ready for all of that. So I hope this video helped you a ton. I hope Remote Pilot 101 and MZRA have been such a blessing to you. If you need your part 107, there's links down below uh, as well. You can check it all out, remotepilot101.com or just go to m0a.com to check that out, to learn more, to become that proficient, safer, smarter part 107 pilot. Have a blessed, abundant, outstanding rest of your day. And most importantly, remember, the good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, everybody. I'll see ya.